Hey guys, Hypolast here, bringing you a replay of a game that I just finished. I am playing Kanage, my opponent is on Kalazar, Invoker of Agony, and this is the first time that I've ever seen a Kalazar deck. I haven't been playing for too long, but I have seen most of the heroes get played against me. So, as you can see there, my opening hand was pretty bad, so I just tossed it away. My new hand has the Spring Spirit and a Kabuki Seductress, which are both really good board control cards early on, I like seeing those. Now my opponent's deck, the reason I'm bringing you this replay, is pretty interesting. Uh, he's got a lot of control cards in his hand, and as you can see there, he didn't actually have many creatures to try to grab board with. He's got this Hellfire Bloater, but that's not going to be attacking me, so how's he going to kill me? Well, he's going to use pretty much Nether Curse to just deal as much damage to me as he can. And you'll see it actually almost works. He's got a couple other burn cards in there as well to back that up, and it ends up being pretty interesting. Uh, right now, though, I need to deal with this Hellfire Bloater, so we're going to toss down a Coral Priestess, just move it out of the way for one turn. I know he's just going to put it back, but at least this gets some damage through. And when I saw this Nether Curse, I was kind of thinking, hmm, this might end up being a race. So he does put that Hellfire Bloater back, he hits me with this Wither, which is going to render my Coral Priestess completely useless. As you can see, he does specialize in Dark Magic. So he's going to have access to all those ever so annoying dark spells. So I don't really see a way that I can deal damage this turn. I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet, kill this Hellfire Bloater, let my Spring Spirit die, as sad as that is. I'm going to play down this one Azame. I couldn't have played it here to give my Coral Priestess an attack because she's actually getting minus three from that Wither. As you can see, he has three magic right now, so that wasn't actually a play that I could have done. And a second Wither comes down, so now my one Azami is useless as well. Absolutely fantastic. And he's drawing some cards. He has this Delve into Madness. Not actually card advantage, but pretty good still. Uh, and I don't really have good plays now. I'm stuck with a whole bunch of removal in my hand. Some of this might come into use later, but luckily I do manage to draw into this Psyomic Champion. Gives me something to do at least. I don't really want to waste this Seductress just yet. So, this forces him to respond. You can see in his hand he's got three campfires. This is going to ma make a ridiculous turn, sorry, later. And he's also got this Empowered Spell, which is another card that I've never really seen played, but ends up being really good against me later. So, you can see here he's kind of went off with campfires, cycled a bunch of his hand, got this Town Portal, and got this Forked Fireball, so now with the Empowered Spell he can actually just straight up kill off my champion. And once again, I am left with nothing to do. So his deck is kind of just doing what it does best, controlling the board, slowly dealing damage to me. Luckily, now that I actually have a Graveyard, this Nether Curse is not going to be quite as painful. I just decide to get this Tide, ma tide Master down. At this point, I realize he's probably not going to be playing that many creatures, just by the looks of it, and I really just needed the attack on the board in order to start dealing damage to him but he town portals it back once again just delaying the game this time I don't even have a graveyard so I'm going to be taking damage once again he brings down the maniac so he actually has something that I could move around not like it would really do anything but I have the lotus empire guard now this is fantastic against his deck at least I thought because it actually can't be targeted and right there Lotus Empire Guard cannot be targeted, so I love playing it against these kind of control -y decks because they just usually have a really hard time dealing with it. Now here he kind of fills up the board, which is really nice because I've had a couple of Ice Spikes just wasting my hands since the very beginning, and so I was super excited to be able to actually put those to use. I completely take out this line of creatures here and just smash in for five. And now, as long as I can keep my board decently sized, you see I lay down another Naga Tidemaster, get that back out behind the Wanazame, uh, then maybe I can actually rush him down. Uh, here's another one of his burn spells, Sacrificial Pit. He's going to be playing demons at it constantly. Whenever they die, they're going to deal one damage to me. He also has a ton of these Void Wraiths, which are really causing me trouble, because they deal three damage when I kill them. So he just puts it in front of my guys, and then I can't get through without taking more damage. And I am down to 11 health, and this Nether Curse just picking away at me. Now luckily I do have these blinding lights in my hand so I can get through a couple of void wraiths if I need to. Uh, for now though I can just move him off to the side 
force him to move back again if he wants to try to deal 3 damage to me. And I managed to push for 4 more damage with my Naga Tide Master. So now I'm hoping he's going to be forced to move his Void Wraith back in front of it. And then I'll be able to use a Blinding Light to hopefully push for the win. I do have two Blinding Lights and if both of my Naga Tide Masters get through I will be able to win. Uh, and I'm only at 11 health. And that may not seem like it's too low, but as you'll see, he actually plays down a bunch of Void Wraiths. And now, thanks to the Nether Curse, coming back, it'll deal 1 damage to me. This Void Wraith would deal 3, 3, and 3. Uh, so I would be almost dead if I didn't have these Blinding Lights. Luckily, I do just play down both Blinding Lights, and I push in for the win rate there. So, really interesting deck from Xenofoot85. I might actually be trying out a version of it because I really enjoy playing against that and it looks like it has a lot of potential.